good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning cardio. Starting off the episode a little bit different. So, it is 8 o'clock. <clears throat> Losing my voice. 8 o'clock, school gym. Empty because it's spring break. What I'm going to start doing, since I'm going to be starting to cut in about a week, is I'm going to do morning cardio, fasted. Now understand that just because I'm doing it fasted, there isn't a particular reason. It's just... I'm getting up early. I don't want a bunch of food in my system. And then doing cardio. So I'll eat after. Whether you do cardio fasted or not fasted, you're still gonna have the same effect. Because it depends on how many calories you're taking in and your expenditure. So what I'm doing now is watch my boy Nick Bear. check him out he's in Korea right now but still making YouTube videos so shout out to him also you guys know I've talked about Fat Dudes Fitness before check him out he's almost at a thousand subscribers so go help him out and what I'm also doing now is working on my plan for cutting and what I do is like I write everything I do down whether it's cardio or on my lifts so now I'm just putting that all together in a separate book that way I can figure out exactly how I want to go about this cut. So I'll keep track of everything here. Previous workouts, all written down here, made up by myself. Everything there, all my notes. And now it's time to start making a plan for the cut. So I'm going to do that. Cardio is going to be probably three to four times a week. And the first few sessions will only be for 150 calories, so right now I'm at a 3% incline and 3 miles per hour. 150 calories, 3 to 4 times a week, and then we'll adjust it as I get further along in my cut. But I'm going to do this, organize this. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next clip. So what I'm working on right now is just going over how I want to prepare myself for my one rep max, which you guys are going to see later in this video because I've never actually tested it before when we were training for soccer we had never actually pushed ourselves to a one rep max type of thing and most we did was squat we never benched or deadlift or anything like that so I keep track of everything I do I have made programs for myself I do online coaching so I've made programs for other people as well and I like to go week by week so it looks like this is how I'll print it out and so Monday through Sunday includes rest days on there as well. I'll put the exercises and everything, reps, sets, weights, all that stuff. So here's another one. And you know, it just shows everything's subject to change because when you're in a workout, you're gonna feel different. Sometimes you're hyped and you're ready to go, other times you're gonna feel sore. So I mean there's been many many notes that I've written on these changes that I've made along the way and that's how I've gotten to be where I am today because I've learned about my body and just kind of grown so that's what I'm doing here and I'm also preparing myself for the, my cut which is gonna be about 10 weeks I think I'm going to stop in the middle of May right before my graduation so I have all of that set up, I believe it's going to start start March 7th and about May 13th. So, keeping track of everything, that's how you can hold yourself accountable. But back to online coaching. So what I have done before is, I haven't really promoted it that much, but I love doing it. I love seeing people progress. So I'm just going to take you through my website real quick. It's been up and running, so very cheap. But I am getting my license in two, three months, so I've been studying for that and everything. So let's just check it out. So very simple, just dfitnessonline.weebly.com. So that's what the homepage is. And I really want to stress like it's a lifestyle. There's no end dates here. Like this is something that you will continue to do and hopefully for your life and as long as you can train. So you have up here the homepage, programs, media, reviews, and way to contact me. 
and down here is just an explanation because people are watching this not everyone knows what a macro program is so we all, I also provide regular programs there's hit workouts and everything so you can click here to find your program this is all done by me so again macro coaching on the left here is when I was clean eating didn't really know anything about nutrition I just thought you had to eat clean and like grow foods here's when I started to count macros and you can definitely see more definition and much stronger and even though that's about the same weight well, there's definitely a difference in how I look also the fitness and health consulting so just through Skype or email just once a week maybe twice a week we set up a time that we would talk and talk about your goals for the week and any progressions and anything like that I love doing that I love connecting with people just gotta find what program is right for you also weight loss weight gain program so this would be the regular program where you're not tracking macros but I will give you a meal plan recipes things to do and eat to reach your goals whether it's to gain weight or lose weight and then if you're just looking for a meal plan no workouts or anything like that then I also provide that as well again very cheap prices anyone in college or on a budget definitely can handle that so media I mean this if you follow me on Instagram then that's basically what this is just some food recipes I've made my progress there from bulking to cutting that's a year difference in my back just some recipes I love sharing recipes so check that out also reviews so reviews from previous and or current clients so I have them right there shout out to you guys I constantly get emails from people just saying how thankful they are for everything and it's great to hear back and see people getting better so another way to contact me is just through email gfitnessonline at gmail.com also social media which I stay very active on a little bit about me at the bottom there so again that's my website online coaching cheap prices and everything is done by email I can answer your emails 24 7 I want to help you guys you guys have helped me so just a way to give back and I'm learning as I go about this process and I want to give back to those who are also learning whether you're in college or you're an adult trying to balance anything here to help so again it's gfitnessonline.weebly.com the, the link to the website is always in the description box below for every single video so if you miss it just go ahead and check that out also don't forget it's about social media and let's forget about all this talking and let's get to the one rep maxes and see how that went What you're watching is me attempt my one rep max for the squat, bench, and deadlift right now. You're watching me squat, and squat was not good, guys. I am really, really upset about how my squats went, to be honest with you. First attempt was 140, second attempt was 145, and I capped it at that. Obviously, you can tell, barely got any depth. I don't know if it was because I didn't have a spotter, I just wasn't confident in it, but 145, I had a lot of improvement, and I got to the gym about 8 o'clock, had to wait around until 8.30 just to even get the squat rack. I've never worked out this late, so there's a lot of the actors playing into this. Hopefully you can hear me. Then I moved over to bench, and I was pumped up for bench because I thought I was going to do pretty well. First attempt was 95. Second attempt, which was horrible, was 105. I just could not get it. Is major fail, guys. Major, major fail. But I think for a future program, I'm going to set my one rep max for bench at 105, just so I can push myself. Because I really need to improve in my squat and my bench. Obviously. Then, what gets even crazier, guys, is my deadlift. I was aiming for 175 to be my max, and after seeing how my squat and bench went, I didn't even think I would get near that for deadlifts, but I did. First attempt was 155, second attempt was 175, and somehow I was able to pull 195. And yes, right around the corner from 200, could I have slapped on two, two and a half plates? probably but I wanted to end on a good note after seeing how my squat and bench went so you have it uh, 145 for squat 105 for bench and 195 for deadlift so kind of all over the place but I'm not 
proclaim myself to be a powerlifter in any way whatsoever. Um, that's just, I wanted to get a idea of where I was at so that when I program my next program, I know where I should be and kind of what to work around. So that's the plan. And obviously I want to improve in all that, but no, I'm not a power lifter. So that's what we're working with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy the series because this is the last video for the back in business. Thank you guys for watching all this. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave comments down below for future things that I can do and work on and form and all of that good stuff. So my emotions are all over the place right now. I just finished doing all of that. I mean, I'm glad I ended with deadlifts and you know, 195, that's pretty nice. A lot to work on, but that's what the new series is about. And a lot of people would say, well, why are you doing all of this? And then you're going to start cutting. You're not going to be able to make any improvements. I'm not necessarily worried about making improvements. I know that I need to cut down a little bit. So that is a plan and I'll make minor gains here and there, but nothing crazy. I just work on form, repetition, repetition, repetition. That's what it's all about. So stay tuned for the cutting series. Also, leave a comment down below and then a title for that. I think. What a night. Thinking about ending it around graduation time, so the title club has something to do with that. But again, thank you all for the support. I absolutely love this. This is great. You guys have been awesome, so thank you again. Can't say that enough. Please give this a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day. Thank you for watching this series, and I'll see you in the next one.